hey, you asked for it, we're going to the grocery store. Time to buckle up. I am going to be really including a lot of different options that I find at my local grocery store. And of course, in the Chicagoland area, gotta put on some cool beats, head into the grocery store, which in our area frequently is a jewel. Gotta start it off with fresh fruits and vegetables, which mystery snails and a number of fish would thoroughly enjoy, along with canned food options like um, canned green beans are a favorite. Now in the baby food aisle, I love the brushes that they have. They're bottle brushes and they frequently have very soft ends which can come in handy for not only like intake tubes, but also the inside and the corner of your tanks. I like these for nano tanks especially, getting into the little crevices where you can't get a razor blade. These were really so cool and they came in different sizes. I had to get them. These little makeup mitts, I think they are. They're kind of like little tiny little towels and they come in really handy to get into little crevices on the inside of your tank. Now these, I did a video. Any video that I reference, I will drop below. This one, I just did a video of planting hacks and FYI, you can cut them and wrap them around a little manzanita branch to, to hold on a little plant. Oh yes, I use this. We get a lot of these and I like to use things that we get a lot of. And what is it? What it, it's actually part of the packaging that I use. It's the little pop tab that is inside that cover. That little, uh, I call it a pop tab, I don't know what it is, but I actually hoarded a number of these thinking someday I wanna be able to use them and this is what I like to use them for Creeping Jenny. I'm pulling them in from the pond lately and the roots have to be in the water and I like to float it. They do float, by the way, these little pop tabs. They also come in orange juice containers. Um, and then also I hook them on the side of a tank. Now these are a lifesaver when you're trying to clean out that little tiny hole in a sponge filter. It's actually called the bullseye of the sponge filter. Just don't make sure you don't get anything with mouthwash or kind of antibacterial put into it. And they work out great. Now, sponges, don't get, go for any kind of cleaning sponge. I like these, the dish fish. I did a video of that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great sponge. It works out great and it's in the shape of a fish. These are another great option to have on hand just in case you're out somewhere, maybe at a fish show or out at a store and you run into a betta that you just have to have but you don't have a tank set up. These are great in a pinch or maybe you have a batch of fried that come out. They come in all sorts of sizes. Always great to have on hand and if you don't use them there, yeah, you can put some leftovers in them. This is another thing I always like to have on hand, a dedicated stock pot for boiling driftwood. A tiny brush comes with these reusable straws and I, I don't know, I just really like this. I have no idea what you could use it for except I would make meatballs in the shape of mini meat, meatloaves. That's just what I would do. And then turkey basters. I just did a video of this and keep, keep in mind there are different options. You can get really cheap ones, but go to the gadget aisle. These are super deluxe and these are probably one of the best ones you can find because they are dripless and you can stand them up on end. Really, really helpful. Calendars, small little, small ones, big ones. You, you, there's so many different options how you could use these. Along with these, this is kind of along the lines of the one video I did with um, what I call bucket diapers. And this can keep your duckweed out of your bucket, keep your bucket really clean. You could use this the same way or even dividing plants. It can just float in the water or hold different plants. Um, I, I, I could think of a whole bunch of different options for this one. Now, cheesecloth. This is one thing, do you, I know a lot of fish keepers use this, I don't know what for. It's kind of a, a household item that everybody has and I don't know what you really use it for. Um, these skewers, I use them to stake plants in the aquarium, just like a wood outside. I use them to stake Anub Anubias. Well, I hope you enjoyed this crazy little video. Let me know what was your favorite and let me know what do you get at the grocery store that you'd like to share. I will see you in the next one and again, thanks for watching.